let's say that Carol Baskin um, murdered her husband because he was leaving her, um, but he'd been cheating on her for a long time. So they'd been fighting for a long time, and I'm sure their fights had been pretty brutal. And that makes you wonder, um, why, like, so why did Carol Ma Baskin murder her husband, specifically? Was it because of the money? Um, was it because of the tigers? So does Carol Baskin love the tigers so much that her husband was going to leave her? She was going to get a bunch of money, like over a million, and he was probably going to screw her because he, he had hidden, the, hidden a lot of the money. But no matter what, she couldn't take care of those tigers. Or she didn't understand that she could take care of those tigers because she didn't learn how to take care of the tigers until um, until she started this charity. And the charity is what takes care of the tigers now because Carol Baskin's a great businesswoman and she went way beyond what her husband was doing with the tigers. So she took her husband's money and she actually did something incredible with it, which she started this charity. But then at the same time, this charity really harasses people, but then you have to understand um, she's not the only person that was harassing Joe because she wasn't the only person concerned about the tiger's welfare because there were that many tigers because he was the biggest breeder of tigers in the United States. So she had a reason to have a problem with him. <clears throat> um, but, and he had a reason and Joe had a reason to have a problem with her, but then you really have to wonder, um, should Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic be best friends? Because who loves tigers almost as much as Carol Baskin? Joe. No one loves tigers like Joe, except for Carol Baskin. And Carol Baskin will kill someone to get those tigers, and Joe will get talked into trying to kill someone by someone that's going to snitch on him. Someone that is a, is a, is he a 50 year old black man that's white? Is he, is he, a, uh, oh gosh, are, are politicians allowed to say the word wigger? <laughs> oh, a white bird. No, that's, it's because he, he, it's one thing if you're a white guy that wears the same clothes as a black person would. It's another thing if you're like a 50 year old white guy that does it. But I feel like that's part of the con because it makes you look like I'm so rich I can dress like this and I have hot girls but then he convinces the girls that he has money too but I guess he did have money but he no matter what um, who's my least favorite character Jeff Lowe unless Doc Annell is the real guy that's the thing you don't even realize it because even now I'm still going Doc Annell no way Doc Annell's um, the guy that Carol Baskin leaves alone even though he does it um, but then the crazy thing is Doc Annell could be a, because what kind of a person raises a tiger to the point that the tiger is pretty much an adult, like to, to the point that it's a teenager and then kills it. But at the same time, I mean, how in the world could Doc Annell do that without people realizing it? I mean, people work for him. So, um, there's no way, but Maybe that would mean one of his wives. Because there's no way Doc Annell by himself is the only person that knows every single tiger cub. Other people would know the tiger cubs. So if the guy was killing tiger cubs after they grew up to a certain age, the people that work there would know. And you would think someone would, would love tigers enough that they would say, okay, yeah, I did know about that. But I, I feel like I, I, li I like having a job and... Doc Annell is kind of a cult leader because um, they that's the thing once you have tigers like that it's kind of hard to it's like it's like here come join my cult you get to be with my animals and and it's like well that's the best because I love animals and there are people that love animals that much that they're like this is this is awesome but it's hard to find someone that loves animals that much that is willing to kill them at a certain age but 
maybe Doc Antle did that a long time ago, but I don't know. Maybe he never did it, but Joe Exotic sure thinks so. 